So good afternoon. I am Ariana Asha. I'm a third year medical student at Queen's University of Belfast and I'm here today to tell you about the journey that started with my summer studentship at the summer at the Centre of Medical Education under the supervision of Dr. Kearney and Dr. Mary Corrigan and that has brought me here today. I am here today to talk to you about cultural humility, why and how it should be part of the education received by medical students and other healthcare professionals like myself. Next. In the slide here, you could see two sets of people. It is easy to be fooled and regard the two women in the top image as being more different than the pair at the bottom image. This is because culture is usually perceived as the sole product of ethnicity, race and religion. But it should not be. Cultural humility focuses on culture in the broadest sense as a result of many variables such as gender, sexual orientation, life experiences, disability and so on. This is called cultural competence. Cultural humility goes beyond that. It encourages self-reflection and critique of the person's own culture and any biases that might subsequently arise. It is only then that healthcare professionals can appreciate other cultures. Next. So you may ask, culture, healthcare professionals already have enough on their plates. Why is this important? Well, in healthcare there are many power imbalances in the doctor-patient relationship, mostly derived from cultural differences. Healthcare professionals should aim to achieve an even ground their patients. And the best way to get started is communication, empathetic communication, empathetic listening to be exact. Cultural humility is the key to this door. It prevents patients from feeling alienated or misunderstood, which has dire consequences on patient trust, adherence to treatment, and so on. Next. Despite being coined in 1988, cultural humility is still considered an open concept. Therefore, we created our own resources to teach the concept in a practical manner. We designed an introductory video about cultural humility its application to clinical practice and its place within medical education. We also designed a reflective exercise to be used during the workshop. The exercise incorporated different yes or no questions about diverse cultural experiences and it aimed to increase awareness of how undefined culture could be. Both resources were aimed at first year medical students. Next. As part of the module, first years are participating an early clinical exposure program called um, Family Attachment Scheme. The scheme allows students to visit patients in their family houses about three, four times under the supervision of a local GP. Due Absolutely. to COVID restrictions, this is being delivered remotely. The scheme encourages students to practice their communication skills while learning about social um, physiological determinants of patient experiences. Next. We have to end it there. It's been three minutes. Oh, three. Sorry. To be fair to everyone, I apologize. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ariana. That three minutes really does disappear. Um, but thank you for conveying to us the importance of cultural humil humility. Um, do we have any questions from the group? I'd, I'd love to see the resource, actually, Ariana. I don't know if that's something that you'd be able to share with us at, at DEMA, um, because actually we've been looking, certainly at Manchester, at, at putting in some training around cultural humility and finding resources that I think are, for the UK setup can sometimes be a bit tricky. So I might might grab you afterwards if that's OK. Yes, that's fine. Um, so from Raid, have you received any student feedback? Um, well, yes, um, I, we are currently doing two surveys and then doing um, framework analysis of the blogs, part of their assessment at the end after the foundation program. But with regards to the survey, um, it's basically the first survey is to um, um, get um, baseline um, data about the students' attitudes and their um, view of importance. and how easy they can practice um, cultural humility in their medical practice. Um, and most students seem to be a bit apprehensive, but um, we hope to change that hopefully. 
Thank you very much. And it sounds like I'm not the only other person that's interested. Sophie's also asking uh, Brunel um, about sharing resources. So um, fantastic. Thank you very much. Okay.